Hi, today in the dumpster room, uh, it's the usual old stuff, you know, that PC's a nothing burger. But uh, look, check it out. We have a HP Color Laser Jet Pro. Pro! None of that amateur rubbish. Um, let's take it back to the dungeon, see if it works. All right, we're back here in the dungeon and it looks pretty schmick, doesn't it? It looks like, like, it looks like a bought one, really. Um, I'm not sure if it's absolutely current, but uh, the price of this was about 600 bucks. But it's got all the mod cons. It looks like it's got a touchy-feely here. It's got the uh, Ethernets. It's probably got the Wi-Fis. And uh, yes, that is an OCT machine. And yes, that is a laser eye surgery machine. So there you go. Anyway, um, let's power it on. I, I do run about 50-50 with dumpster uh, printers. So I've still got the big A3 colour jobby here, the big monster. That still works an absolute treat. So A3 colour. This one's only A4. Um, so I've put some uh, paper in it and it does look in fantastic nick. The scanner plate looks terrific. Uh, you know, it's not super high end, but you know, it's pro. So, and it is, it is HP. It came straight out of the uh, garage, of course. And... Here we go. Oh, hey, I've plugged it in. So, yeah, as I said, 50-50. I'm not surprised that it powers up. Um, usually, I can hear the sounds of it, yeah, going through all the self-checks and alignments and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I do find, like, people just... I found perfectly functional ones, throw them out because they've upgraded, they're moving offices, whatever, um, or it simply runs out of toner. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, that does actually happen. So... I'm not surprised. I, you know, confidence is high. I repeat, install supplies. Yeah, it's out of toner. Okay, so how do you, how do you get the? Uh, yep. So bummer. Um, I won't be able to test it until. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. And oh, looks yeah. It's it's completely. It's completely out. It's completely out. Um, I don't think I've had that before. Damn. So I can't even like test it because usually you know if it's like out of toner or something you know you usually can shake them around shake rattle and roll and put them back in and you usually get a test print out of it but uh oh damn that's a bummer um i don't know leave it in the is, is there any way to there's no real way to test it without toner really so i don't know um leave it in the comments down below or whether or not I should, um, like, fork out some non-genuine ones, of course. Non-genuine. It's got the uh, four different colours. And they look quite sizable. Look at the size of those beasts. Although they would have... The, oh, no, you'd have to buy ones with the drum. In uh, It's not just the toner. It's uh, They'd be ones with the drum in it as well. So, um, uh, no, I can't get... No, no, the rest of it doesn't, doesn't come apart, does it? I don't think so. Looks all right down in there. Hang on, I do have a headlamp. Yeah, maybe that's why they tossed it. It's got some streakies on there. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of excess toner down in the rollers down there. Not sure if you're seeing that, but I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. I'd like it because they've actually removed them. So it makes me think like it started giving them problems. So they, uh, I don't know, <laughs> they just bought a new one. It's cheaper to buy a new one than get someone in to service it. Um, so they bought a new one and they went, oh, well, we've got like full uh, cartridges. We may as well keep those. So they ripped them out and they dumped the printer. So I don't know. Leave in the comments down below if I should risk trying to get that working. We do need a new colour printer at home. So that would be that would be all right for home. Um, it's a nice size. It's a wife approved size for home. It's a bit bigger than what we've got because it's the multifunction. We've got like just this size without the multifunctional scannery bit. But yeah, yeah, we do need a more better one uh, for home, so eh, leave in the comments down below what you think. Catch you next time. Oh, hang on, uh, firmware date code 2016, so yeah, it's a reasonably old model, so um, eh, I don't know, I can't get, um, it has, it can do a report page, but I can't see how it can, uh, I can't see anywhere that it tells me how many sheets it's printed, self-diagnostics. I mean, we can go into reports, but color usage log. There we go. Maybe, no, no, it has to print the damn thing. Oh, come on. You got a screen? 
I know you're a printer, but, you know, do you have to piss away a dead tree just to tell me? Unbelievable.